Thank you, boy Davidoff. My isolation is over. So uh, it's a 10 day isolation, but if you test negative on day six and day seven at the later, at the earliest, um, two consecutive days, 24 hours apart, if you test negative both times, then you can get out of the isolation, go back to work, etc. As long as you, as long as you feel better, you got to have the symptoms that got to go as well. It's not like it's just test negative. Also, if you still have symptoms, you don't stop self self isolating. But my system, my systems, my symptoms stopped after like four or five days. Um, I think by Friday I was definitely all right. Uh, day six was Saturday, and I felt a lot better. I thought, yes, let's test, and uh, if I do test negative Saturday and Sunday. I get back to work on Monday, but on Saturday, I tested positive. I tested again straight away, positive again. So I'm just like, what's going on? I don't feel sick anymore. There's no symptoms. I've stopped coughing. I've, um, there's no high temperature. There's nothing that indicates that I'm sick. Yeah, I'm still testing positive twice in a row. I'm just like, what's going on? So I had to call into work and I had to say I can't be in on Monday because obviously I tested negative. Tested positive, sorry. But on Sunday, I tested negative. And on Monday, again, I tested negative, which means on Tuesday, I went back to work. Just to be off again today on Wednesday, because I got a day off anyway, like contractually, today on Wednesday. So <laughs> it's funny. I've been gone for over a week. I go back to work one day, and then I have a day off again. And I, already, and I also booked the weekend off. I had two days holiday left. I used that on this weekend. So <laughs> I'm literally in like three days in the last two weeks. But yeah, um, you know, if, if symptoms have gone, I feel better, I went back to work. It was tiring the first day because first day back after a while is, is always going to be tiring. But um, still, a, a pretty good day at work. It was pretty fine. Most of the time it was quite, uh, it was quite quiet. It was quiet. Um, it wasn't that busy. So it wasn't too bad. It got busy towards the end, but it was all right. Anyway, um, one thing I wanted to do was watch Spider-Man in 4DX. I wanted to see that, but then I tested positive. I couldn't go out. Um, but this is literally the last opportunity I have to see it because like this weekend, I think Scream comes out and they're doing that in 4DX in the cinema I'm, I'm local to. Uh, but it's the last week to see Spider-Man in 4DX. And uh, I want to see it in 4DX. I've seen it twice in cinemas now. I want to see it again, but in 4DX. I want experience a roller coaster ride in a feel-like roller coaster. Uh, but yeah, before I do that, the movie starts in like 40 minutes, so just before I go there, I'm going to sell three games. Um, I'm going to sell this game, NASCAR Ignition. I bought it because I've been getting into racing games and I thought, hey, a NASCAR game would be great with a steering wheel as well. It's just not a good game. <laughs> I streamed it once, I did not like it at all. Call of Duty Vanguard, I enjoyed the game, but once I completed Story and I got to Prestige 1, I was just like, hmm. I mean, Warzone is there, but it's free anyway. I just thought, you know what? I'm good. Um, I, honestly, I'm waiting for next year's Call of Duty because apparently it's the next Modern Warfare game. That's what I'm excited for. But uh, yeah, I was always going to keep this for like a couple months anyway. And also this one, Guardians of the Galaxy. I enjoyed this game. Um, I remember the Avengers game came out from the same makers and it didn't look good at all. I saw trailers, I saw gameplay. I, just, I was just like, this... I don't, I don't want to get the Avengers game, which is kind of mad because I love the Avengers. But in the game, it's just like I played part of it, too, because it's on Game Pass on Xbox now. Played the intro. I was just like, oh, this is just a bit tedious. It's just it's a bit annoying to play. So when they announced they were doing a Guardians game from the same makers, from the same company, I just thought, mm, but the Avengers game looked terrible. I saw the trailer to this. I, I wasn't that convinced by it. But then I saw some reviews. Because the Avengers reviews are just not good anyway. But the reviews for this game were like... People were surprised that it was good. People liked it a lot more than the Avengers game. People who didn't like the Avengers game liked this one. People were liking it. You know, people that were not expecting to like it liked it. So I'm just like, okay, maybe this one's not as bad. So I bought it. And it's actually pretty good. It had a good story. And uh, it was fun. But I finished the story. This is a game that's not, you know, based around DLC and stuff. Or online content. It's literally just one big story mode. And it's a very good story, but I don't intend replaying it, so I'm going to sell it. But I enjoyed the game, so uh, yeah, that's cool. I hope they make a sequel to that. Uh, maybe that game being good will make me give Avengers a chance. I don't know, but uh, I probably won't give it a chance. If it's, if it's still on Game Pass, I might play it for free, but uh, 
yeah, that was a good game. Anyway, let me sell these three. I think I can get quite good money for them as well. Um, and then I'll go to the cinema. So I've just gone back upstairs to uh, put my uh, voucher in the same place. Um, they said £58 cash or £84 voucher. Went with the voucher because they get new games, uh, either on day one or at least day two at the latest. So I could use it to get a brand new game whenever, <laughs> whenever I want to get one. Um, but yeah, literally, like, what's funny is I spent 25 quid on NASCAR and they gave me 26 quid. <laughs> I made a profit. The movie starts at 4, it's currently 4.12 and it's a 4D movie so I think it's a bit late to get nachos because I would just drop all of them. So um, I haven't eaten since the morning, um, that's not healthy but I think a hot dog will do. Yeah, I need to get 3D glasses as well. I am the only one here. I'm the only one here. It's dark now so I can't show you but all the seats have like a, a place you can rest your foot on. And it's basically like a, a little ride. So I've, I've been here before for Endgame and Infinity War. It's pretty mad. Um, water effects and everything. And get ready to feel more again. Right, so that was really fun. I don't think I've been in a 4D movie since Endgame, which was three years ago. Well, two and a half years ago. It's been, it's been a while. Jeez. 4D is best for movies that involve action, you know? just. It does have to be fight scene, just you know, just action packed. You know, could could be an adventure movie where there's some sort of thrill ride. You know, just something that will really get you into the action. Obviously, that's what 4D is made for, and it's good. Uh, not many water effects, but that's mainly because there's not really water parts of the movie. Whenever Aquaman 2 comes out, uh, that's got to be a 4D thing. Wind effects were good. Um, the only thing is sometimes I don't know if it's just the just the one I'm, I go to, but the machine that makes everything go sometimes it gets quite loud. It's not like too distracting but like two or three scenes where the machines start going a bit louder like you can you can't hear them most of the time but sometimes you can hear them it's like a computer randomly going loud for a few seconds and going quiet again and it happened during times where there was dialogue you know and i, I could still hear it i'm just like the machine's louder in the movie here <laughs> what's going on but obviously it takes machinery to get that thing working obviously she seats are shaking got all these environmental effects i get it but <laughs> some for a couple of scenes, it was a little too loud. Obviously with Spider-Man, you get a lot of swinging around, especially at the start at the end of the movie. That's cool, with 4D effects, it's cool. Um, it could make you dizzy. Um, I got a bit of a headache in one of the scenes, but yeah, it's, it's cool. You know, seeing Spider-Man swing around and you're sort of feeling it in a way. I, I, I like that, really like that. Um, I never like watch something in 4D for the first time because you're having fun and I want to concentrate on the movie, but watching, re-watching a movie and it's in 4D is just awesome. Also. I was the only one there. I'm literally the only, the only person who bought a seat today for that screening. It's literally just me. I saw one person walking and I was just like, yes, no, nah, it's, it's just a staff member. But yeah, it was literally just me in there. I thoroughly enjoyed my first two screenings of this movie. But, you know, there were people there and uh, there was a lot of screaming, you know, and I get why a lot of amazing things happened. But, you know, you, you're always going to miss some details. Even if, even if there's not any screaming, you're always going to miss some deals looking for the first or second time. But when you rewatch it, you start to notice little details you noticed before so i like that stuff i like that part of rewatching movies for sure so i saw extra details extra little details here and there and uh enjoyed the 4d so overall a good experience and i'm back home I haven't done much today and i feel quite tired probably because i went to bed at 5 a.m the last two nights that's not a good idea anyway um yeah i'm going to record an ultraman reaction and then i might stream i might not i don't know when I watch a TV show, I don't know. But uh, either way, i got to get on the train tomorrow. Um, I did turn up late to work one day, uh, which I don't want to do. I was live streaming the night before as well. But um, no, nah, I'll be all right, you know. Just, I, I won't be late to work tomorrow, but I just need to get on that train. I might get up extra early just in case. But um, yeah, that is it for this vlog. Uh, nothing much else to uh, to do, so I'm just going to end the vlog here. This is your boy Tavidoff. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and goodbye. I forgot part of my intro. Please like, share, subscribe. It's because on Twitch, I say the same outro, except without like, share, and share, just subscribe. I'll say my Twitch outro. But you know the outro, all right? We're going to end the vlog here. All right, let's just stop talking.